Hi, welcome again to No Bullshit Reviews. In light of the rise of the Planet of the Comic Book movies, I wanted to take a look at my personal favorite comic book character, Frank Castle, the Punisher. Especially in the light of his reemergence in the form of being brought into Daredevil Season 2 and the upcoming Punisher Netflix series, which looks great. Now, I don't usually care too much for comic book movies, not because they're bad, but most of them, while decent, just aren't my cup of tea. Do I enjoy them when I eventually watch them? Sure do. But I don't often seek them out, despite the effort of execs to shove them down our throats. But the Punisher holds a special place in my heart. Today, we're going to look at probably the best adaptation of the best run of the Punisher, the Max series. While I did really enjoy the 2004 Thomas Jane Punisher, and even got some enjoyment out of the cheesy 80s Lundgren Punisher, Ray Stevenson's performance in 2009's Punisher Warzone has to be my favorite of them all, as far as movies go. Here's why. It's a great adaptation in terms of the feel. While I will tout the 2004 version is a probably better film, Warzone is a lot more fun and feels more like the Punisher I love. The gritty, grim, gory Max series, where Frank's basically an old man still out punishing. Seriously, he's a non-vet, at least around 70, and he could still kick the shit out of the mob's best. While Warzone retcons him to a Gulf War Spec Ops vet to make it slightly more believable, Stevenson's at least still in his mid-40s, maybe almost 50, while Thomas Jane felt like early, early 30s, maybe just 30. Frank was in his late 30s in the original run when his family died, so the Punisher has always just kind of been an old guy. The movie is shot more like a comic book than the 2004 movie, and really feels more comic book-like than most comic book films, with the high contrast lighting, use of deeply saturated colors, and the color palette itself. Every shot really does kind of feel like a frame from a comic book, some more than others. From the opening shootout semi ripped from Max Issue 1, to the end shootout, it is all very stylized, and cool looking. Having that feel of a comic book on film that doesn't come off as forced like I've heard the Ang Lee Hulk movie did. The shootouts too are pretty great. Although it does kind of feel like there should be maybe one or two more, but that's probably just because they're very fun and I want more content like the greedy little gun nerd I am. Although, I am slightly disappointed in Frank's choice of sidearm in this movie. While the full auto Beretta's play well for camera, Frank should be using a 1911 of some sort, preferably the Springfield Armory ones from the 2004 film, which were ushered into the Max series. But, as I said, the Berettas look good on film, so that's why they used them. The gore in this film, by the way, is awesome. While I'm not one to say gore is a huge factor in whether or not I enjoy a movie since I'm not a gore hound, the thing that made the Max series stand out from the rest of the Punisher comics was the intense violence and gore. It gets kind of ridiculous in the movie, but the stylization makes that work in the movie's favor. So, if you're in for a good, gory romp, check out Punisher Warzone.